Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I am your host, Scott Ramp. We have a lot to uh, show f for you guys today. Um, welcome to Wake Up Missoula. Like I said, uh, we got a lot to talk about. We got uh, Zinke, who gets a uh, uh, hearing in Congress about uh, being sworn in as uh, Secretary of the Interior. We got uh, new programming with I in terms of right in at work. So the Salish Kootenai tribe, when they were first introduced to horses, uh, we got access to justice in uh, many forms of our uh, original media assistant grants program. Um, stop animation short, we have a stop animation short. We got dubbing stuff and we have a guest from MCT talking about urine town. But first, let's just talk about uh, weather. Um, the weather, I, I walked outside today and I thought to myself, I was like, huh, if, if today is going to feel like right now, then I think today is going to be pretty good. But uh, according to uh, the National Weather Service, it is currently 18 degrees outside. Your high is going to be 31 degrees. There's that winter advisory warning going on until 11 um, p.m. tonight. Uh, you get chances of wintry mix happening all day today, of about 50 to a 40 percent chance. Thursday, you got a wintry mix, a uh, chance of showers, but your high is going to be 38 degrees, so it's going to be a lot warmer than last week. Uh, you have a 30 percent chance of snow showers Thursday night. Uh, Friday is going to be mostly cloudy, so and then uh, your low is going to be 12, and your high is going to be 31, so it's going to stay fairly warm through your Friday, and I'll have uh, more on your weekend uh, later on uh, this Friday as well. Um, let's talk about some snow stuff. So if you guys are uh, are uh, winter uh, recreational lists is the word I'm trying to look for, then you guys can um, check out Whitefish Mountain Ski Resort. They just had uh, three inches of fresh new snow happen in the last 24 hours. Uh, Ten of their 14 slopes are open. Um, Black Mountain, uh, Blacktail Mountain Ski Area, they didn't have any fresh powder, but b all four of their trails are open. Big Sky Resort, uh, 34 out of 34 trails are open, the Great Divide. Uh, their trails are open. Um, Lost Trail of Powder Mountain, uh, you get be aware that there is a warning, so you may need to call ahead and make sure uh, Montana Snow Bowl doesn't have any fresh snow, but it says that all their slopes are open and ready to go. Uh, Discovery Ski Area, five of their eight slopes are open. Um, you can ex you you uh, but they didn't get any fresh new snow. Um, but you can expect maybe some fresh new snow later on this week as well. But let's jump into some new stuff. So if you guys haven't already heard, the city of Missoula, uh, 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 Justice uh, Judge uh, Robert Rusty Deshaw, uh, Deshaw, sorry, uh, just uh, approved the demolition of the Missoula Mercantile. So if you haven't heard already, the city of Missoula got the okay to, uh, to demolish the old Mercantile building. With much delay, uh, the court sided with the city of Missoula to move forward with pa plans of demolition. Last spring, the city of Missoula teamed up with developers from Bozeman, um, Andy Holleran. Uh, he is a developer from there, and he uh, had a, a plan for Hotel Marriott. I have a picture for you guys. Here's kind of like the plans and what they want to do with it, kind of give it a historic look. But unfortunately, uh, for some of you who, wanna ke who wanted to keep the old facade of the mercantile, it seems as though that that is not going to be a possibility in the future. Um, Dan Hall, a local historian and members of Preser Preserve Historic Missoula, issued a press release on the group's behalf saying that the members of the Preserve Historic Missoula and all those supporting the appeal to preserve the historic mercantile building building are profoundly disappointed in, du in Judge Deshaw's ruling to permit the demolition of Missoula's most iconic commercial building. Hall wrote, we have appreciated this opportunity to express our concerns through the uh, judicial system and its thoughtful consideration. The cost of this new hotel, Marriott, will be up close to $35 million, and with many uh, uh, potential buyers um, seeing the price tag for any kind of um, revamp or revitalizing of the uh, old mercantile, it, it, it became too costly. So they decided not to go with that, and um, the city of Missoula had uh, now moving forward with the mercantile. And I'll keep you guys updated and figuring out what they're going to be doing moving forward, and they'll be going through the, uh, the process of uh, designs and reviews at City Council, so I'll have that in the City Council report, hopefully sometime for you guys in the future. Um, but if you haven't heard, also in Missoula, that uh, Fish, Wildlife, and Parks put down a mountain lion and her three cubs. Um, according to Fish, Wildlife, and Park, mountain lions are familiar with the Missoula Valley area, uh, but have been known to avoid humans and certain neighborhoods. Uh, but with uh, two dogs killed in the last few days by this family unit, Fish, Wildlife, and Park assumed it was out of uh, desperation. Um, they said that um, maybe that the mother was uh, trying really hard to feed her cubs, so she decided to hunt some of the uh, easy b local dogs, so they ventured close to the human territory. But unfortunately, uh, 
they had to kill because uh, they found the uh, animals were attacking some of the local dogs and they're near a school area. But Fish, Wildlife, and Park ass uh, assures people that it, it, it was a safe, it, it wasn't too close to a school area, but they just wanted to uh, make sure that um, this kind of thing it, it was not gonna be a problem. Um, and I got both of these stories from the Missoulian. And if you haven't already known, um, Ryan Zinke interviewed for the Office of the Interior, uh, according to the Sh Chicago Tribune, and of course the Missoulian, if you haven't checked it out this morning. Uh, Zinke disputes Trump's claim on the global warming as a hoax, uh, likely to win a Senate confirmation. Zinke, uh, 55, sketched out of a variety of purposes for the nation's vast federal lands, from hiking, fishing, um, and camping to harvesting timber and mining for coal and other energy sources. The Interior Department and the U.S. Uh, agencies control uh, most a uh, third of the land in the West and even more of the underground uh, mineral estates uh, that hold the vast amounts of coal, oil, and natural gas. Uh, Zinke says that he would never sell, give away, or transfer public lands, um, a crucial stance in his home state of Montana and the rest of the West where Access to hunting, fishing, and uh, wait, hunting and fishing is considered priority, especially in uh, Montana hunting. But with uh, the protection of these lands, Zinke also is in favor of mining operations at the state level. Things such as coal mining, natural gas, and some of what Zinke thinks is the state level should uh, have more say on public lands while also protecting them. Um, uh, Zinke uh, seems to have the easiest task of getting the seat than any other of respect to res respectfully saying that uh, he also has a lot in common with the rest of the cabinet by disagreeing <laughs> with Trump on many levels. In the world news, uh, London is in the final prep work for UK's outline and leaving the European Union. So if you haven't heard, just uh, I think it was just this last year in 2016 that London wanted to uh, secede from the European Union. So uh, one of the issues that happened with that is that uh, the, the, the pound dramatically dropped after that happened, but after the speech, it was called the Beatrix speech, and they, uh, the pound has been going up steadily since the speech, and the prospect of Britain would remain part of a single market uh, has been fading since uh, um, pr um, Prime Minister Theresa May uh, said that in October that she would demand complete control of migration from the European Union and release of the European Court of Justice. Mrs. May said that the Britain wanted a successful European Union and a friendly partnership, but that no deal for Britain is better than a bad deal for Britain. And I got this information from New York Times. So uh, that pretty much concludes everything you guys need to know about what's happening in the world and locally today. Uh, up next, we got a uh, interview. It's uh, Shelby Art from the MCT, and she's here to talk about um, Urinetown. So we'll be back right back right after this fun little short video from our Saturday drop-in animation. I know I am. So hey, I'm Mason. Hi. I know what it's like to be cool because I am the coolest kid around. Check out this guy. Thanks, to, uh, cool. G I. Pr uh, and my swagger greatly improved. Mason's promise number one, always walk in a room like you own it. Being cool is not always easy, but if you join my program, you'll be cool just like this guy. With the cool guy uh, advertisement I looked upon when I was sitting down in my couch watching the TV, it really just, it made sense to me. I, I, it inspired me. Promise number two, if you wear your pants tied at the thighs and loose at the crotch, all the doors will be open for you. Just look at this guy. Yeah, darn. Well, thanks to the cool guy program, I never have to wear pants again. No, wait, 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 hold on. But seriously, I'd have to wear pants again. <laughs> wait. Cool guy promise number three, always be a boss. Remember these tips. Own the room, pants make the man be a boss. Hey, I'm back here with Shelby Art, and she's here to talk about uh, MCT's upcoming show, You're in Town, which is going to be opening tomorrow night. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. tell us a little bit more about You're in Town for those who don't or are not familiar with that uh, musical. Okay, so it's You're in Town, the musical, of course. Um, the music is absolutely incredible. Uh, and though many people think of just the storyline, which is about 
uh, drought that's going on, and so it kind of breaks the people into two groups. There's a group of rich people who can use the bathroom whenever they want, and there's a group of poor people who it's really tough because they have to pay to use the bathroom. Um, it separates them into those two groups, which are full of crazy characters. And most people just think of that storyline, but there's so much to it. Um, it's absolutely hilarious, though it seems like a pretty serious topic. Um, it's very aware of how serious and silly it is. Um, it's both at the same time. Uh, so it's just hilarious, and the characters are so over the top um, that the audience just laughs the whole time. Let's talk about your character, uh, Let's Little Becky Two-Shoes. What is your character? <laughs> So Little Becky Two Shoes is a little bit crazy um, compared to a lot of the cast. Um, I'm actually both uh, pregnant and I have a leg brace. Um, <laughs> so it's pretty, it's the most ridiculous character I've ever played. Um, very over the top. And in Act Two, I get to go a little bit insane, which is always fun to play. So it's fun. I'm wild and I'm not happy about, I'm one of the poor and I'm not happy about the situation that's going on. So uh, with uh, uh, this play, um, um, MCD has done a lot of shows that are very familiar, and this show, which kind of along the same lines as The Drowsy Chaperone, which was last year, which is more of an adult play. So what kind of age range would really kind of um, get uh, this play? Well, we say it's PG-13, um, and I would say uh, like high school and above. I saw it when I was in high school uh, for the first time, and it, I got most of the humor. It's hilarious for people who are theater lovers um, any you know from middle school high school on up uh, it's appropriate and it's funny it's just funny no matter what age you are uh, all the humor plays uh, there are some things you get better when you're an adult there are jokes I get better now than I did when I was in high school uh, but it was still great back then is there uh, anything in this play that people can expect that you can tell me without giving too much away um let's well, I already told you about my pregnancy, which is which is a great reveal. Um, but I would say um, it doesn't have the ending you would expect. Uh, but it's it's all funnier than you would expect. If that if that doesn't give too much away, because there are things that you'll think are serious, and then the next moment you're laughing at it because we're making fun of it, and it's very self-aware. It makes fun of itself constantly. It make, we make fun of each other constantly. Um, so that's that's the fun of it, that you don't really get to experience until you're sitting in the seat. Cool. Is there a, a titular uh, song of your in town, like it's the your in town theme? Um, I would say the one most people know that they performed on the Tony Awards back when it was on Broadway a few years ago is Run Freedom Run. That's the big, like, it's exciting and it's fun and it's so fun to be a part of. Um, but the opening, um, which is just you're in town, the opening, uh, and the, uh, the song What is You're in Town, both tell what the show is about, so if people don't know, they can look those up. Um, they're fun and they're, the music is just spectacular. So uh, can you tell uh, people um, out there where they can find more information about it? Definitely, if you visit mctinc.org, you can learn all about um, the showtime, as well as more about the cast. Um, there have been some great articles as well on the Missoulian, and as well as our Facebook, our Instagram, and our Twitter. We'll all have information on those. Cool, is there anything else you wanna say about this? Um, just that it's hilarious and the music and the dancing and all of the set is just amazing and it's our um, zero waste show so that means that everything we have on stage is recycled or pulled from a thrift store or um, secondhand stores things like that so it's everything about it is just intriguing and fun cool. uh, once again this is Shelby Art and she's gonna be playing little Becky two shoes in the upcoming show you're in town which is gonna be premiering Thursday night tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m., but of course, you got, you can, I, if you guys missed that one, there's a bunch of shows happening um, all the way through the weekend. It's gonna be from Wednesday through Sunday, 7.30 pretty much every night with matinees on Saturday and Sunday. All the way until January 29th. Yep, but then once again, you can find out more information by logging on to mctinc.org. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. Three minutes of history that lasted a few thousand years how the native people first encountered the horse. The horse, of course, there's a lot of people, you know, met and encountered the horse for the first time. But this one is going to be about the Salish, the Salish and the Ponderay. The Ponderay that you know today is actually Kalispell people. 
Kalos Belt people or uh, the Camos people. They're all the way from Eastern Washington all the way up to here in Montana. The Salish people are a little bit further south. But I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them and you know, before the horses that travel, the, the, the mode of travel was foot. People that had to gather food, had to do things on a daily basis on foot. Um, when uh, my dad was still in Liberia, and um, it was two years before my dad actually got to meet his own daughter. And uh, for some of you guys that have kids, you know uh, how crucial that first two years is with your kid and your, your child. And you know how, uh, how much development you see your child go through in the first two years of their life. Well, my dad, being a refugee, didn't get to come here until my sister was two years old. And uh, I look at, you know, families in America speaking about uh, diversity and about love and about peace and about compassion. And had it not been for all of those things in Helena, Montana, my, I don't know if we'd still be here. It's the consequences of sleeping next to an elephant, right? They're hard to avoid. So what I've looked at is what are the opportunities? How do we change? Because no complaining. That's one of my rules I'm trying to hold myself to, right? No complaining without offering a solution. So I'm here tonight to hear what those potential solutions are, right? What can we do about it? What can we do to make sure that those people in my community are the ones we listen to, are the ones that have the priority, are the ones that drive the agenda, are the ones that tell me what to do? That's what I'm here to find out. I'm here tonight to find out how we can make sure that the will of the people that was expressed through that initiative that I just told you about, right, becomes the rule of law in this state, becomes a guiding principle for us uh, that are involved in the legislative process. So I appreciate being here tonight and being given this opportunity, and I look forward to hearing more. Thank you. You know, and every agent will be different and every editor will be different in terms of how they feel about that. Um, uh, um, I definitely do, you know, ha here's, here's my problem is if I take someone on, I, I feel as though I'm saying I can do something for you. Um, and I want to be able to sell it somewhere. And so sometimes I'll have that conversation with writers, uh, which is, you know, I really like your book. Um, you know, wh what do you, what, what's your, what do you wish to happen here, you know? And if they say, you, you know, um, you know. Well, I think it has to go to a really top-notch house, like for our Strauss or Knopf or whatever. Um, and I, if I, you know, harbor the feeling that it will be tough there and it will probably go to a smaller press, it's. It, I don't, I'm not in the business to make people unhappy. You know. I what don't I mean? know. Have you ever seen um, self-represented litigants? I just had a chance to see one yesterday. I was in the Lincoln County District Court. And this man walked up to the counter and said, my children are in danger. I need papers. I need custody. It's an emergency. How many people graduated from high school or from college and are able to come to the counter and say, excuse me, I need to file a motion for expedited consideration. Could you please help me with that? <laughs> this man. He was given some forms and an explanation, and he had lots of questions. He needed the instructions repeated. He needed to know what else. Can you tell me again? And this was all in English. How do we help the people that are unable to understand English enough? Um, I'll tell you, for us, the Latinos, it's very typical. When we don't understand, you know what we do? We smile and not yes. <laughs> so, when our English is very limited, we may be responding to something in our limited words that are actually going to have really serious consequences because we don't understand. All right, and those are w many of the wonderful programs that MCAT puts on through our Media Assistance Grants Program. If you're interested in being a part of many of those videos and basically uh, us archiving history here in Missoula via lectures and more, you can log on to MCAT.org. You go to this nice little forms tab right here and you go to...
Media Assistance Grant application. Just right there, nice and below. Um, but also you can go to MCAT.org for any more information, including our Saturday stop-in animation. Um, be sure to uh, check out MCAT.org for all your information and everything you need to know about MCAT. You can also call us at 542-6228, otherwise known as 542-MCAT. You can also uh, e uh, email us MCAT at MCAT.org to inquire any questions that you may have about using um, your own, your uh, community public access television station. Uh, moving on, uh, here is some um, information about how you can get more information about <laughs> Wake Up Missoula. I said information twice, but I, th but I'm gonna have to make you write all this twice. But you log on to wakeupmissoula.wixsite.com slash wakeupmissoula to find out more informa information about Wake Up Missoula. You can also uh, subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. You could like us on our Facebook page, and you should totally follow us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. It is a great way to stay in contact with us and give me uh, feedback on how my show is, what my show needs, and I'm always looking for new segments to talk about my show. So if you are uh, uh, highly uh, talented and interested in doing a segment on my show, you can get in contact with me, MCAT at MCAT.org, or you can call us at 542-6228. Um, Saturday drop-ins are every Saturday from 1 to 5. Stop Animation is back. It's kind of never really left, but you can um, join us every uh, Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. We teach kids all about stop animation, and we do some live-action shorts as well. Of course, if you haven't seen the uh, short little video that we showed you before the interview, that was some of our live-action stuff, which was nice and fun to do. That was starring um, a lot of the hardcore kids that come to our Saturday drop-in all the time, and we just decided just to do it just like that. Um, right now, I got some stop animation video for you guys, and it's called Girl and Power. Welcome to Jolly Jerry's, the best piratey, hot doggy, Mexicana restaurant around. I'm Sam, your pirate for the evening. What would you like to plunder? Yeah, um, we haven't quite decided what we wanted. Could you give us a No problem, bruh. You're all right. No shirt, no shoes, no service. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, wait, ah, ah. Ah, you call this service? Good luck walking without the <laughs> foot pegs. Ah! <laughs> Dude, are you guys like ready to order or something? Actually, I have a question before we order. Are you a cop? Yeah, and I think I saw him at the coffee house, too. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Yeah, I swear. Just what is it do you do for income? Check, please. You are right away. I hope you guys enjoyed your time at Jolly Jerry's. I'll be right back. I'm thinking about giving my boyfriend, Chuck, a second chance, but I just don't know. Well, sometimes I think an ignorant boyfriend is better than an absent one. <laughs> I'm just so sick of men just ignoring us until they want something. I say we get dessert. And forget about men, if only for tonight. This doesn't concern you. Get lost. You did a good job of getting me out as soon as you did. But my way would have been fun. They're uh, smoother the better, I always say. You should relax, Mr. Mayor. My boss is very impressed by you. Uh... Good luck, Romeo. Shh, be quiet. I'm trying to... Work my magic. So we got like bootylicious bubblegum ice cream. Oh, that sounds so good too. I wish we can have them all. Huh? Uh, I, I just wanted to say hello. Oh, hey you. Uh, listen, you're really nice, but I have a boyfriend and you're kind of like a... What's the word I'm looking <sighs> for? <sighs> Watch it, nerd. Oh my god, that's it. Whoa! Whoa! So are you like single or whatever? <clears throat> what a, oh my god, what a jerk. What? Oh my god. All right, that was my uh, weekly stop animation short. You can watch the rest of that my stop motion anthology by logging on to YouTube leading up to this latest episode of uh, stop animation, uh, Scott Ramp's stop animated anthology, as I call it. Um, so, uh, wait, yep, we're good. My audio is still working. <laughs> I'm just double checking because I can barely hear myself in my own ear. Um, here is some of your events that are happening in Missoula and beyond. Um, 
Let's see. Let's kick it off with some Wednesday events. Uh, finding Funding for Energy Projects Workshop. So if um, USDA Rural Development in partnership with Montana Development of Environmental Quality, DEQ, Renewable Energy Division, National Center for um, Technology in Montana, blah, 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 make, uh, making energy work for you. These are basically all the organizations that are going to be working together. This free one-day workshop will feature the Rural Energy of America uh, grant and loan program, the Montana DEQ uh, Renewable Energy Program, as well as comprehensive lineup for speakers experienced in facilitating both energy efficiency and renewable energy projects here in Montana. And that's going to be happening at Missoula Electrical Co-op at 8.30 this morning. So it's basically happening right now. Uh, <laughs> But if you're watching this later on, it's too late. You guys can't do it. It's going to be at Missoula Electric Cooperative. Um, early Child Care Music Hour is going to be at the Zootown Arts Community Center. This is going to be every single Wednesday starting today. And this is for ages uh, 18 months to 3 years of age. And this is Early Childhood Music Hour. Um, drop in uh, for rhythm and music hour. They, they say hour too many times. Um, come with your child and ex floor movement and rhythm. Today we know uh, more about how children learn and how grow even b uh, even ever before for some of their grammar is terrible and we <laughs> now have data to confirm our hunch that music wait we have data to confirm our hunch. Um, <laughs> music is vital to life and <laughs> no reservation necessary. Stop by and enjoy some tunes. And this is something that definitely just kind of popped up just overnight when I was doing this uh, the other day. Uh, and of course, rather than lying on your resume, actually learn Excel at the Missoula Public Library. Excel starting at 12.30, or as I like to call it, noon 30. Missoula Public Library is hosting a class, an introduction to the basic features of Microsoft Excel. Topics include entering data and formulas. Sorry. Uh, this class assumes the students have some experience with the Windows and using a mouse. Um, you can call 721-BOOK or 721-6265, I mean, and that's how you register by calling, and that's starting at 1230 at the Missoula Public Library, and they have all sorts of other stuff as well that you can check out. Um, teen Art Workshop, Finding Your Wild uh, Side with Clay. They're doing a clay uh, kind of artwork at the Missoula Art Museum at 4 p.m. this afternoon. Uh, Trey Hill will be teaching basic ceramic techniques to explore small hybrid animal sculptures with clay. In this class, you will combine parts from different animals to create your own mythological beast. Uh, every third Wednesday from 4 to 6 p.m., man provides this opportunity for teens to meet and work with professional artists. Artists will share their art and a few creative tips before uh, presenting a project inspired by their own work. Um, these workshops are generously made possible by, by the Liu Family Foundation. So it's free, uh, and you must be a teen to uh, be part of it. And it happens from 4 to 6 every third Wednesday of the month. Uh, medical and identity theft protection and... Uh, presentation as the Missoula Public Library at 5.30 tonight. Learn how to protect yourself from a medical and identity theft at a free presentation in um, conjunction with the Missoula Public uh, Library's Thinking Money, an interactive national touring exhibit. Experts from the Montana SMP program and the Missoula Sheriff's uh, County Sheriff's Department will cover a range of health care fraud topics, especially related to Medicare and Medicaid uh, beneficiaries. And this is happening from 5.30 to 7 p.m. And that's uh, pretty much the highlighted events for your Wednesday. But here are some of the music events uh, for uh, Wednesday night. There's a dance lesson, ca country dance lesson with Kathy Clark at the Sunrise Saloon tonight. A uh, karaoke contest is at the Legal Lodge tonight. Craptastic karaoke is going to be at the Badlander Mill Creek Wednesday as at the Palace. Um, it, it's electronic music at the Palace. And they're going to be wrapping up this kind of stuff at the Palace because they're going to be opening a pool hall there. Um, Rocky, Rocky and Karaoke at, is going to be at the Sunrise Saloon. So once you're done with the country dance lesson with Kathy Clark, you guys can do some um, country singing. Um, open Mic, hosted by David Maverick, is at the VW, VFW. Um, here are some of your quick little... Uh, Missoula Public Library. Uh, the Maker Space is uh, 10 a.m. at the Missoula Bu Public Library. Uh, middle School Writers is uh, after school at 3:30 p.m. Um, Tiny Tales is oh wait, no, that's Thursday. My bad. Now let's jump into Thursday events for you guys. But first, here is a nice little art clip for you guys to enjoy. It's a brand brand spanking new art clip featured at the Missoula Art Museum, and they're going to I'm going to be showing this until February, which isn't too far off. But this is all about their 45th annual art auction. So some of this art you'll never see again um, after this.
Uh, once again, I want to thank uh, Rick Philp for making that nice little art collage video for you guys. And that's going to be uh, displayed at the Missouri Art Museum until February 1st when they'll be doing their art auction. Uh, moving on, we got some Thursday events for you guys, um, starting with... Uh, a Missoula County Zoning Amendment Forum. <laughs> that sounds really interesting. Okay, that's happening at 2.30 this afternoon. Um, I mean, 2.30 2 tomorrow afternoon, and this is all about, uh, um, as you may have heard, Missoula County is updating its zoning regulations. While land use uh, policy can be uh, uh, tedious in its detail, it's also essential tool for developing the community we all want to live in. Uh, that's why we, uh, you guys, we hope that you guys will attend this upcoming forum for CAP staff. We'll walk through the uh, proposed changes and answer any questions you may have with two tracks uh, for media's audience with different levels of family familiarity with zoning regulations. Each forum will feature a short staff presentation about the changes and follow up to Q&A discussion with the Tuesday meeting involving a longer presentation with more detail for the professionals who uh, interact regularly with the land use regulations such as architects, uh, surveyors and engineers. Uh, please RSVP at J Dixon with an X at MissoulaCounty.us. You can always just go to MissoulaCounty.us to find out more information about this Missoula uh, County Zoning Amendment Forum. And this is going to be 2:30 tomorrow at the Missoula County Courthouse Annex 151. I believe that's where they usually do their uh, county commissioners meeting. And you can find out more information by going to MissoulaCounty.us. Um, Bug Olympics is happening at the Missoula Insectarium tomorrow afternoon. Can you jump uh, as far as the world record holder for the longest jump by an insect? Uh, the frog hopper. The catch is that the little guy can uh, jump 112 times his body length. Can he jump that far? Mm -hmm, mm, no, I don't think so. Well, we'll be testing out our jump skills and doing a little math to help us appreciate the super strength th our, of our insect friends. And that's going to be at the Missoula Insectarium tomorrow at 3 p.m. It's a nice little learning environment for kids. Um, tomorrow night, there's Ladies Pottery Night at the Zoo Town Arts Community Center. Uh, ladies, or uh, to celebrate uh, staying open until 8 p.m. every week on Thursdays. The Zach is welcoming Ladies Pottery Painting Night, in which all women artists enjoy 20% off pottery. You're also welcome to visit uh, your na the neighborhood over the Northside Kettle House to bring beverage into the pottery painting studio. All ages and experience levels are welcome to paint pottery, but not all ages are welcome for Kettle House. Um, come spend the evening with us and create something memorable, no reservations necessary, and it's walk-ins only. Uh, the Roxy is doing an interesting uh, month, a weekly uh, ser movie th series at the Roxy every Thursday night at 7 p.m. It's Dystopian Dreams, uh, Della Contessa, Della Contessa. Um, it's a French movie about a dystopian future, um, and this is going to be happening all January long. Not this movie, but this is the movie that's going to be playing tomorrow night. Uh, Clapet, Jean-Claude Jean Dreyfus, so he's basically Jean-Claude Van Damme and Richard Dreyfus combined into one. Jean-Claude Dreyfus uh, is a butcher who owns <laughs> a rundown apartment building in post-apocalyptic France. Uh, the building is in um, constant need of a handyman because Complain routinely butchers them and sells them as food. Oh, wow, that's kind of messed up. <laughs> the latest in a long line of disposable workers and... 
um, is Louis Zone. As Dominic Pinion is a former circus clown, desperate for work and uh, lodging, but this time uh, Klepet's plan hits a snag when his younger daughter falls head over heels in l uh, in love for this man that he wants to kill and butcher. <laughs> and here are some more events from the Mizzou Public Library happening um, tomorrow on Thursday. Tiny Tales is happening, like they do it every Thursday and every other day. It's going to be happening at the Mizzou Public Library at 10.30 tomorrow morning on uh, Thinking Money. Shred It is going to be at 1 p.m. Um, Mizzou Public Library. Make It and Take It on Thursday is going to be uh, Mizzou Public Library at 2.30. Um, Computer Electronics in the Makerspace will be at 3 o'clock. Lego Club at 3.30. And then, yeah, that's pretty much where we'll wrap up ev all your Thursday stuff with uh, Mizzou Public Library. Here are some of your music events for Thursday. Uh, live Jazz is going to be at the Plonk. Um, open Mic is going to be at the Broadway. Rockin' Karaoke, hosted by Aaron B. Rocks, is going to be at the Dark Horse. Uh, Newlyweds, uh, Rut Gut Wines, Boston Tea Party is going to be at the Palace, uh, part of their uh, latest um, live music uh, uh, trends that's going to be going on until the Palace uh, closes and reopens as a pool hall. Um, Shiramama, uh, Efren's, uh, Zebulon Coasted, Jolly Jane, and it's going to be playing at the Old Beck um, VFW Post 209, and it's going to be at 9 p.m. tomorrow night. Moonshine Mountain is going to be playing at the Top Hat, and that wraps up all your events for Thursday night. And now I'm going to kind of like uh, loosen things up a little bit because I have a nice little uh, episode of dubbing stuff. So it's where I uh, find old movies pub in the public domain, and then I take out the audio, and then I redub with voices. <laughs> Something don't smell right around here. Gotta go check it out. I think I hear somebody enjoying themselves around here. That's when I decided to go back to beauty school. You know, it's kind of hard unless you apply yourself. There's hair dyes and chemical compositions that react differently to all mm. types of hair. Mm. Not to mention uh, renting a chair mm. at a salon. Mm-hmm. Uh, renting a chair? Correct. Renting a chair at a salon uh. and building the clientele. It's, oh man, it's sometimes it can be overwhelming, but I can totally do it. You know, I'm kind of tired of talking about myself. I want to hear all about you. Mm, yeah, um, yeah, I do stuff. My life was so dull till you came around. My friend, Samantha, said I shouldn't go to make out swung up with somebody I barely know. But talking with you, I feel like we're on a whole new level of communication. I feel like no one ever listens to me. I cannot sometimes get a word in edgewise. Mm -hmm. My last boyfriend yeah, was yeah. such a hick. Come here. Ain't no time for a hanky pinky. It's time for revenge. Get up. All right, fine. Please get up. <laughs> I like laughing at people who have a gun pointed at me. Let me tell you something. This is my swamp, not make out swamp. You get that? You get it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. What I don't get is why you have to disturb a nice evening with me and Pam here. Cynthia. Uh, me and Cynthia here. I got nothing against Pam. Ugh, Cynthia, now you got me going. I got nothing against you two. Now you, you there on the ground. Now you time to get up. Get up, you get her up. Ow, yeah, ow, yeah, ow, yeah, I'll let you sleep. Like. Put to sleep, yeah. put to sleep, put to sleep. Ooh, pins and needles, pins and needles. Now you listen here. You're gonna walk it off, okay? I gotta talk to this fine young gentleman right here. It seems we have trespassed on your property. Not so fast. I'm standing my ground. Oh yeah, Florida. Keep those long, sexy arms away from now me. Now let's not get hasty and get carried away. Hasty? That's my trigger word. And when someone says my trigger word, my finger gets a little itchy. Okay, okay. We don't want any trouble here. Now I'm going to do what I should have did a long time ago. Ah, uh, uh, I can still God. hit you with my boomstick. Get out of here. Down. I gotta find a gun that can shoot more than once. Mm. Mm. 
Well, that's pretty much it for my morning show. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, once again, I want to thank uh, Shelby Art from Urinetown, who's going to be playing uh, Little Betty uh, Two Shoes. And Urinetown is going to be opening tomorrow night at MCT. You can find out more information by M logging on to mctinc.org. You can watch our interviews on YouTube and all the videos that I just uh, made on YouTube as well. Um, but without further ado, uh, thanks for joining me. And for Wake Up Missoula, um, I'm Scott Ramp and have a great rest of your two days. And on Friday, I'll have some city council report and a lot more stuff because it is Trump's inauguration and I have a bunch of fun kid videos that, I, uh, that I've made with a bunch of kids who uh, uh, made videos inspired by uh, everybody's lovable uh, pre to uh, president-elect <laughs> Trump this Friday. And, and I will show it to you guys this Friday. So stay tuned for that. I definitely look forward to it, and you should too. And for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramph. <laughs>